Today we're going to visit some fascinating places in the area of Holborn and Bloomsbury, an area that contains some of London's finest squares and buildings. Bloomsbury boasts some of the most splendid squares, gardens and parks in the whole of London. The major development of the squares that we see today started in about 1800. The 5th Duke of Bedford removed Bedford House and developed land to the north, with Russell Square at its centrepiece. Most of the square's gardens are open to the general public. These blooming and charming pockets of green spaces are steeped in history and are closely associated with philanthropists, intellectuals, writers, artists, bohemians, freethinkers and radicals. Russell Square was built in the 18th century. The square is named after the Russells, who are the Earls and Dukes of Bedford and are the largest landowners in Bloomsbury. It is perhaps the most famous square in Bloomsbury, and the street lamps around the square carry the Bedford family coat of arms. Nowadays, the northwest corners of the square are largely occupied by the University of London, while the Grand Russell Hotel, built in 1898, dominates the eastern side. The square is also home to only one of 13 cabman shelters remaining in London. A short walk away is the British Museum and the Brutalist Grade II listed Brunswick Centre. The square was re-landscaped in 2002 and now contains fountains, gardens and a tea room, providing a renowned sense of calm within the thriving city. Tavistock Square takes its name from the Marquis of Tavistock titles bestowed on the eldest sons of the Duke of Bedford, who owned the square as part of their estate and developed it in the 1820s. Charles Dickens lived here in 1851, and the gardens themselves have become to be regarded as peace gardens. In 1968, a bronze statue of Mahatma Gandhi was placed in the centre, and a cherry tree planted the year before stands in memory for the victims of the Hiroshima bombing. In 1994, conscientious objectors were commemorated by the laying of inscribed stones. There is a bust of Virginia Woolf, and Dame Louisa Aldrich Blake, one of the first women to enter medicine, is also commemorated. Coincidentally, it is home to the headquarters of the British Medical Association, housed in a magnificent Grade II listed building designed by Sir Edward Lutyens in 1911. The wide streets of Bloomsbury make it very accessible. Its close proximity to major rail terminals, Euston, King's Cross and St Pancras, led to it being chosen as a designated media hub during the London 2012 Olympic Games. Bloomsbury was one of the earliest of London squares, developed in the late 17th century by the 4th Earl of Southampton for the wealthy upper classes. It was originally called Southampton Square and is also just a short walk away from the British Museum. It is perhaps most famously associated with the Bloomsbury set, who were an influential group of associated English writers, intellectuals, philosophers and artists. In the gardens of the square is a statue of Charles James Fox, the former parliamentarian. And the main inhabitants these days are commercial, including the famous Le Coudon Bleu School of Cookery. <laughs> 